what the little Indian boy say when his dog ran over the edge of the cliff? Hmm? Dog gone. <laughs> yep, doing our morning mathematics. I do them in the evening sometimes. Sometimes I do them throughout the day, but most of the time I do my morning mathematics. It helps get my brain cranking. You know, parking right next to a guy in an open parking lot. When he pulled in, there's me and Caden was on the trucks in here. He pulls right up in the spot next to me. You know, that's like being in a bathroom for a urinals and walking right up and standing right next to the guy when there's nobody else in the bathroom. Or just taking up the middle stall. Where you intentionally caused where somebody's got to come stand next to you. They space it, there's a possibility. There you go. But we got to go get unloaded once I get done with my mathematics. And go down and get reloaded and head back to Kansas City. Um, He's saying we got 23.76 ton on the rock. I'm gonna say we're gonna pull in. I'm gonna go with 79.5 again this time. That's my weight. We'll find out when we get down there. How about it? So, fun fact, we actually got six rocks this time. Instead of our normal three or four. <laughs> Yeah, they're split down the middle. That's fine. Okay, my friends, let's get up here on the scale. What that sun is. Brutal. You know, a little bit of dust on the inside of my windshield. I need to clean that off. Clean the wind. This time of the season, you clean your window. You can clean it every day. If you clean it in the morning, by the end of the day, you're going to be covered. And bug guts. Right there. Man, in Ohio, you know, 
well, Mississippi will be up, and Ohio will be down, or vice versa. If Ohio will be up, Mississippi will be down. It's crazy. Well, you better give it one of these, though. So. <laughs> that ain't going nowhere, for sure. Let's get out of here. Righteous, righteous, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew this was gonna happen. Heck, damn. St. Louis, St. Louis. Home of America's first auto accident. <laughs> Just made it over here. We're in Lenexa, Kansas. That's crazy. Checking the radar on my phone. And it's showing nothing. Absolutely nothing. But we can see the cloud build up, and that's usually a good sign of a storm of some sort building. I mean, I ain't no meteorologist. By any means, but I'm gonna tell you, this right here don't show anything in our area. That ain't very far off. <laughs> here, that does gonna be one big dead gun. Look at this cute little guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> that cute little guy. He's so cute. Size comparison. I'm six foot tall. <laughs> this guy's so cute. Look at him. Just a cute little guy. Probably for doing LS swaps. If I was make a guess. Do one of those, we'll, we'll build an LS swap the world. All right, guys, we just got up. Naturally, my lips started bleeding. Oh, we went to the doctor on Monday. See if we can get this to quit doing this type of cycle. I woke up and here's something. Off in the distance. Sound like somebody taking some sheet metal, a large piece of sheet metal, shaking it back and forth. Going. Look at my mirror. Get up out of bed. There's some strobies going on back yonder. Hoping he hurries up and get these gates open so I can get my straps off and put away. Because I don't want to be around this lightning rod. That lightning starts getting closer. I know they say if you can hear it, you're close enough to get struck. Well, we're gonna take our chances. I'm not as worried about getting unloaded or anything as much as I'm worried about just getting the straps loose and trying to beat the lightning. That's our biggest goal right now.
can feel the storm rolling in because the wind's starting to blow that direction. And the humidity level just like increased crazy. It's still good. 20, 30 miles out. I was looking at the radar before I jumped out of the truck. Should have plenty of time to get the straps rolled up and put away. Like I said, I'm not as worried about getting the mud or any of that as I am getting this crap done. So I'm not out in the rain. I'm not from the land down under. But I can hear the thunder. Better run and take cover. Oh man. We beat the rain. Here I am. Worried about being uh, out in the weather. Because it is. The lightning is starting to pick up really close. This guy's out there with a crane. <laughs> Can you take it high enough for the lightning to get you when it's flashing around? Well, I never did get to see that get struck by lightning. It had some pretty good lightning though, but they're waiting on us. What about the crane? Back behind me now. He asked me to pull forward. Uh, that thing's like zoomed in on me. You almost see my eyeballs. Yeah. But uh, I'm sitting there waiting to get unloaded, so the old boy's got to get the crane out of the way. I've been waiting on him to get it out of the way, and he's been dilly dallying. And I better go out there and grab him by his mullet and give him a knuckle sandwich. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> no big deal, bro. No big deal. Try my nifty. That's what happened with the crane. I hate wasn't getting it out of my way like I needed them to do. They, uh, they were having issues with the hydraulic steering on it. Couldn't get it to turn, so he had to do a little 50 point turnaround to get it to uh, go where he needed it to go. So. <laughs> All right, yeah. Get on up out of here. Rain has lifted significantly. So we're gonna try to scoot on out of here. Get down to Brian's. Get loaded. Grief, what is it with people? It's raining. It ain't snowing. Not even, they're doing, they're a 15 under the speed limit. Slam on the brakes like every 10 seconds. Why? You know, some people must not understand the concept of wipers on and lights on. I know it's still a fairly new concept, but it makes a lot of sense. For instance, there's a dark gray minivan up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see it. Barely. It blends in really well with the dark colored road and the mist and everything else. Can't hardly see it. There's another little blue car up yonder. Can't hardly see it. Barely seen it come by whenever it buzzed by at 100 mile an hour. Turn your lights on, people. If it's raining out or foggy or snowing, turn your lights on. Manually reach down and turn them on. I know these automatic cars, you know, they got the automatic light system. Hey, let me tell you. Turn your lights on manually. You know, they, they all have a manual button. You know. Well, we pulled in the Wheatland. <laughs> Had to use potty brake. And, well, you know, the rain found me. That's all good. We made it through the low spots that I was worried about, so... finish figure with the time I have invested I might as well do a 30 minute break real quick 
That frees me up. A little bit more time to make it on across without having to do a 30 minute break. Thing keeps popping up saying, Root may be affected by a flash flood warning. Oh well. We made it across. We're in Missouri. My favorite little place, Dairy Queen. It's got a Snapchat. Bad gum. Hit and miss rain all the way across. Get over here eating dinner with Caden. I think I still got food in my beard. My dad gum her lips started bleeding like crazy. Hoping we got another appointment on Friday. Next Friday, not tomorrow, but next Friday I got an appointment. Uh, to look at the dermatologist. I thought that's who I was supposed to be seeing this last go around, but I guess we're actually going to see the dermatologist this time, see what he thinks. Uh, oh, he played us the dangerous game this morning called Turn Off Your Alarm Clock, Go Back to Sleep. I still plan on waking up on time. I don't think I want. We ought to put it in gear and get on over. Alright, let's do it. What do we say? 78 degree or something like that? I think that's what we said. But I'll let you know what we weigh when we get up here. stretch there and the trees overlapped the road it sucked in the winter time when it snowed but uh, you go through there and it just overlapped the road it, it was, it was kind of really cool all right as I do my ending outro to the video I'm also going to be doing my paperwork comes down to driving a vehicle is a dangerous thing and I made mention about motorcycles earlier you know about you know riding like you got a purpose in life not like you have a reset button thing to be said, said about cars and driving trucks and all that other fun stuff the big thing to remember is life itself is not a guaranteed thing forever I mean this, this ain't nothing but a bag of bones to tell you the truth so at least you know this earthly life anyways believe in Jesus Christ you're gonna have life forever but you gotta live life like you don't have a tomorrow 
and don't take the risk of hurting somebody else in the process and make wise decisions. I mean, we do things every day. You don't think it's going to hurt somebody. And next thing you know, somebody's hurt. <laughs> but, you know, you got to kind of think a little bit about safety. You know, think your th thoughts out a little bit more. I mean, when I was 18, I did a lot of stupid things. Didn't think about anybody else but me. And even then, I wasn't even thinking about me. I was just thinking about having a good time. As I get older, I realize life is a lot more valuable than that good time. So, I tend to try to make wiser decisions. Yes, I still strap into a race car. I like going fast. But I also view my surroundings a lot more. And I choose my go fast moments a little wiser but like I said things can change in a heartbeat so we're going to wrap it up y'all stay safe out there God bless you and stay in your lane